Hi Weber fans, so today we're going to be checking out some of the best tools you can buy when you first get that Weber barbecue. So what we'll do is dive straight into it. But don't forget everything you use in the video today, there are links in the description below for the best place to get those Weber products, so make sure you check those out at the end of this video. Right, so whether it's the holiday seasons or some Black Friday deals, so there's some amazing tools you can get to enhance the performance of your Weber barbecue. So what I'm gonna do today is go through a couple of tools that I've got and I use consistently that will make life a lot easier if you've got the Weber Q, the Weber Kettle, or even the Weber Genesis. First up, what we'll do is start with the Weber Grill Brush. So this is ideal for cleaning those dirty grills. Now, Weber suggests you preheat that grill to a high temperature and then you can use the brush. So any carbon, as you can see now, that's burnt on, you can rub off with your brush. These brushes will wear over time and they will wear on the edges, but they are ideal for getting that grill nice and clean. Now, normally this brush will last around two years and then you might have to replace it. I recommend buying the shorter one purely because I found with the longer one, you get a lot of flex in there and you can't get a lot of agitation on those grill plates. As we lift the grill plates out, you can see that you can use the brush to clean all those jets out as well with that slight rub of that brush. And this is just a weekly process you do. And then as we delve down even deeper, we'll jump onto the next tool. So the next tool we've got is a Weber scraper. Now this is ideal because it's plastic, so it's not gonna damage any of that aluminium cook box. It really easy to use, you just scrape all that debris down into that bottom tray and they all collect in that tray that you can remove and then dispose of. So you're gonna get all that carbon that collects and burns off that you've brushed down with a brush and you can scrape it all down with the Weber cook box scraper. Now if you've got the Genesis, the Q, or the kettle, the scraper is an ideal tool. So as we jump to the final tools, you buy these as a set. There are two different types you can get. This is the more expensive one and it's a lot more rigid. So you bash it against yourself and you can open it with one hand and then you can pull it to lock it back up to hang up. Also with these tongs as well, I find it really easily, especially if you've been using the pizza stone, it's a fantastic tool for removing that pizza stone because it gets really hot. And if you want to do some steaks after you've been cooking that pizza or any grilling, you can because you can just remove it with those tongs. If you've been using your flat plates in your queue, you can remove that as well. It's really simple to remove these tongs, as you can see, I mean, you can just replace it with a normal grill. And as we dive back over to the Genesis, see we've been using that sear grate, but you can remove that sear grate and replace it with your standard one. And I will put links in the description below of where to get them from. So you can see, whether you're buying your first barbecue and you want some tools to go along with it, you can't go wrong by buying the tongs, the cookbook scraper, or the grill brush. I will put an card above a link into a video as well that I did with the Kaon scraper as well. Fantastic tool, so make sure you check that out. And again, make sure you jump down in the link in the description below. There should be some Black Friday deals going on. So make sure you jump on those Black Friday deals. And if you're an Amazon Prime member, you get free shipping. Again, yeah, those are new to the channel, if you find you're getting value out of this content and contemplate showing support by slapping that subscribe button, it's absolutely free. Ding that bell for notifications so you don't miss any upcoming episodes. Give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comment. And if you like it, comment, I'll pin it to the video. So what we'll do is cut to any bloopers and I'll catch you in the next one.